Welcome students. Welcome to industrial fluid flow session. This class we are going to see about the components of hydraulic system. Under this components of hydraulic system, we are going to see the accessories. What are the hydraulic accessories? So, what are the hydraulic accessories in this session? We are going to see is hydraulic pipes, hydraulic hoses, fittings, and the oil filters. So, what is the necessity of pipes and hoses? In hydraulic system, the hydraulic energy is carried by means of closed conduits or pipes. These pipes are designed to carry the high pressure fluid and to, pro and to provide flexibility and strength. Fluid power lines are classified as pipes. We are using pipes for rigid applications and we are using tubes for semi-rigid applications and we are using, using hoses for flexible applications. And what are the characteristic features of pipes? So let's see the pipes, characteristics of the pipes which are used in hydraulic applications. So they are rigid and suitable for very high pressure application. They are not generally bent and it is used for permanent application. They have maximum strength out of all three pipes. These are specified by the nominal bore size and wall thickness that is for given ID internal dia it can have various outer dia pipes are generally made of metals let's see the characteristic features of the tubes so they are made of comparatively flexible materials they can be bent to any shape and are easy to work it can be used over and over again Tubes are specified based on their outer diameter. Tubes are suitable for lightweight application when compared to others. Now let's consider the characteristic features of hoses. Hoses have same strength as pipe. Relative movement is possible between the points it is connected and easy to install and dismantle. Let's consider the properties of fluid power conduits. It means there is a fluid power connections. It may be pipe, hoses or tubes. What are the properties? It's mechanic, first property is mechanical strength. It should have sufficient strength to withstand the subjected pressure. Then supporting strength. In order to, to support the components and fitting mounted on the piping. It should support the components and fitting mounted on the piping and terminal points to facilitate dismantling and assembling during servicing or repair. It should facilitate while during dismantling or during assembly or during the service and repairing. Damping capability should dampen out shock waves which may develop in the system accidentally. Okay, it should dampen out shock waves which may develop in the system accidentally smoothness of surface the inner surface of the pipe should be sufficiently smooth to reduce friction losses let's, uh, let's see the selection of pipes tubes and hoses so these are the four criteria we have to consider while during the selection of pipes tubes and hoses so it is based on Required strength in the system, the pressure needed in the system, requirement of flexibility of the actuator and the availability of materials for maintenance and ease of replacement. So what are the pipe materials we can use? Yes, we can use steel due to low cost, easy to bend, easy to connect and for high pressure application. And we can use copper due to high resistance to corrosion and for low pressure application. And we can go for aluminium because aluminium is light in weight, good resistance to corrosion and for aircraft and missile hydraulic system. This aluminium is a weight light in weight. So in aircraft and missile system, that hydraulic application we can go for aluminium. We can go for stainless steel because it is corrosion free, good strength. But due to high cost, uh, due to high cost, suitable for particular application. Because due to the high cost, it can be suitable for 
specific application selection of pipe dimension there are three important dimensions of pipe are considered one is the outer dia inner dia and wall thickness so pipes are specified by their nominal inner dia and wall thickness selection of internal dia is based on flow rate of fluid and permissible frictional losses so let's consider the tubes and tubings these tubes are semi rigid so tubing size tubes are designed by its actual outer dia example 5 by 8 inch tube means having an outer dia of 5 tubes are given numbers in incremental increments of 1 by 16 inch example number 6 tube means it have an outer dia of 6 by 16 inch standard pipes and tubes are available between sizes from 1 by 16 to 2 inch nominal size let's consider the hose the hose consists of three layers okay the inner layer called a second layer middle layer is called b and third layer is called c so inner layer consists of rubber or synthetic material and second middle layer it consists of layer of reinforcing material and outer layer it's a protective cover outer protective cover this is how this actual hoses looks like so construction of houses hoses it consists of it divided into three layers inner tube reinforcement and outer covering what is the inner tube this is the passage through which the oil would be flowing so it is made up of made of a suitable hoses material so selection of inner dia of this tube is done as in case of pipes the middle layer is the reinforcement layer the inner tube is covered with reinforcement material to provide sufficient strength to it so it is made up of fiber or steel wire braiding depending on pressure two or three layers may be given third is the outer covering the final uh, layer to avoid reinforcement from getting damaged by impact or sharp objects outer protective cover is given it also covers reinforcement from abrasion corrosion and other damages what are the advantages of hoses generally rubber hoses are preferred all over the world so rubber hoses means the layer a that is the inner layer is of the rubber following other advantages of rubber hoses rubber hoses can be well equipped with quick connect disconnect and connect disconnect end fittings and it can be manufactured in long lengths capable of withstanding to very high pressures they can absorb very sh heavy shocks than rigid tubes what are the disadvantages of rubber hoses they are very poor in abrasion resistance poor in resisting weather condition initial cost is very high they can damage due to incompatible oil let's see how this uh, hoses are connecting how this uh, connectors are fitting in the hoses in a video Hi, right, I'm Gavin from Pipes Direct, and I'm going to show you how to uh, make and crimp a hydraulic hose. Um, so I've already cut my hose to length. Um, so what I need to do now is put my ferrule on. So push that on, make sure that's all the way on, up to the collar. Um, next, I'm going to want to push my fitting in. Now this is uh, quite tight in this hose, so you can put a little bit of oil on into the hose just to make it a bit easier. Uh, you then push that all the way into the hose making sure that it's right up to the front of the ferrule there so it's got the locking ring there All right, so that's my fitting in the hose and I'll put the other end in again a little bit of oil just to make it a bit easier make sure it's all the way in pull the ferrule back make sure that is all the way in you see that's all the way in. now I need to find the crimp setting for the hose so using my crimp chart I'm going to find the appropriate hose which is a two wire compact hose uh, and then find the correct fitting uh, ferrule uh, for the hose. So I've got a 2SC hose which is a two wire compact so that's this hose here. I'm using a FE17 ferrule um, and it's a half inch hose so I follow that along to my 2SC with an FE17 which gives me a 23.2. 
So now I'm going to want to set my uh, swager to 23.2. Go onto the menu by pressing down on the uh, control knob. Set diameter, again press down, and then scroll around to 23.2. So scroll this all the way around until I get to the setting I need of 23.2. Okay, now I'll push down to confirm. It's telling me that I need 22 dies, um, which I've already got in. Uh, if I need to change the dies, then all I need to do is just pull the dies out, pull it out, they've got a little locking pin, um, and then get your appropriate die, and again, lock it, push it into that groove there, and then you'll hear it click in place, and that's now in place, and that's how you change your dies. So I can click that to say okay, that's all set up. This machine has a either a push button or a foot pedal. Uh, I'm going to put the hose in from the back and then look from the front so that I can see the front of the ferrule to make sure that um, I'm going to crimp the full length of the ferrule. So press down the button, that will bring the dies down, bring them a bit closer, line the front of the uh, ferrule up just behind the front of the dies and then crimp down. There we go. There's the beep to say it's finished crimping, and press the red button to release. Okay, that's that end crimped. So what I'm going to do now to make sure that it's crimped correctly is again using my crimp setting and a pair of verniers, measuring between the ridges, and on there I should get a reading of 23.2 which I've got, so that is crimped correctly. That's how to crimp uh, an end on a hose. Now let's see the hydraulic oil filters. This is the one more uh, important accessories in the hydraulic components. So hydraulic filters protects your hydraulic system components from damage due to contamination of oils or other hydraulic fluids in use caused by particles. So every minute approximately 1 million particles larger than 1 micron that is 0.001 millimeter or 1 micrometer enters the hydraulic system. So these particles can cause damage to hydraulic system components because hydraulic oil is easily contaminated. Thus maintaining a good hydraulic filtration system will increase hydraulic component lifetime. A hydraulic filter helps to remove these particles and clean the oil on a continuous basis. So this is how the practical hydraulic oil filters looks like. Let's see the video how this hydraulic oil filter used in the system. It should come as no surprise that the key elements in today's powerful hydraulic systems bear so much similarity to the remarkable technology within the human body. The hydraulic pump is much like the heart. The tubes, flexible holes and couplings are like the blood vessels of the circulatory system. And the hydraulic fluid is like blood, which is filtered by the life-sustaining kidneys. Our interest is primarily in filtration technology, which in the hydraulic circuit removes a whole spectrum of impurities like the kidneys do. Unlike the human hydraulic system, which under normal circumstances is self-sustaining, man-made hydraulics needs careful servicing and maintenance. Seventy to eighty percent of hydraulic component failures are attributable to contaminant in the oil. Because hydraulic power is often the prime force in big projects, downtime of stationary and mobile equipment can result in large losses and unexpected expense. Besides its destructive effects on the system components, contamination of the oil has other multiple negative consequences. The hydraulic system loses some of its energy and lubricating capacity, as well as its ability to transfer heat and leakages are produced. 
This Donaldson training module will provide guidance in proper filter application and contamination control. We know that, through clean oil, Donaldson filtration technology will help you reduce loss of production and maintenance expense. The right filtration solutions will lower your cost of hydraulic equipment ownership by reducing component repair and replacement and by extending machine life. We support you with expert technical know-how and prompt customer service. Good filtration also reduces hydraulic oil replacement and disposal costs. As an industry-leading brand, Donaldson has in excess of 1,500 active, issued, and pending global patents, over 1,000 engineers and scientists worldwide, and more than 10,000 employees in 37 countries. Here are just a few design highlights of the Donaldson spin-on liquid filter which is made for durability and consistent quality. The Donaldson louvered center tube and spiral lock seam allow more flow area. There is also greater collapse strength and the smooth surface eliminates wear on the filter pleats. Donaldson has developed and continues to innovate a full line of mobile hydraulic filters for the protection of machinery and components in hundreds of heavy-duty mobile equipment and industrial applications. The Donaldson product lineup includes quality hydraulic filter assemblies, filter heads, replacement spin-on filters and filter cartridges, test points, and reservoir accessories. Let's look into the hydraulic oil holding tank. It's here that most of the contaminant finds its way into the oil. First, it's important to note that new hydraulic oil is not pure. At an approximate ISO cleanliness level of 2119, it is significantly higher, that is, less clean, than OEM standards. This has prompted a leading global heavy equipment manufacturer to recommend filtering new oil before pouring it into the hydraulic tank. Water can also enter the hydraulic system via the holding tank when moist air inside the tank condenses as the outside air cools. Here is a grouping of Donaldson in-tank filtration products for hydraulic systems of various applications and sizes. Looking at this animated hydraulic circuit, note how the oil is drawn through a strainer in the tank, which removes larger debris. The oil then goes onward into the low-pressure pump-protecting suction filter. Low-pressure filters are the most commonly used type in a hydraulic circuit. Donaldson has a broad product line of low-pressure spin-on, cartridge style, and in-tank filters for solving filtration challenges in virtually any application. From here, the oil, which has been filtered of potentially damaging particulate matter, goes through the inline pump. It is then filtered again in the high pressure section of the circuit. This second filtration is to protect the expensive hydraulic components, the muscles of the system, from particulate and debris. All of our high pressure filters contain Donaldson's Syntex synthetic filter media, specially developed by Donaldson for high efficiency liquid filtration. After doing its work, the hydraulic oil proceeds back to the holding tank. It first passes through the medium pressure return line filter, which removes contaminants generated during component activity. Ideal for medium pressure application in the circuit is the Donaldson Duramax series. Duramax is well known as the highest rated spin-on style filter available and is most often used in return line positions. This new Duramax filter allows you to choose between a spin-on or bowl cartridge style filter without changing heads. The new filter interface makes service easier and provides reliable sealing without having to torque to specification. Its improved performance is a necessity in some applications for meeting ever-increasing system cleanliness requirements. Although cellulose media will suit some applications, 
Others may require Syntex synthetic media in medium pressure applications. For the same media area, the Syntec media gives a lower pressure drop than the cellulose media due to thinner fibers. Thank you students. Thank you for watching this video. Let's see the remaining accessories in the next class.